Alright, hey guys. I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm going to do a video for my older, I don't know what you're going to call it, like subscribers or viewers. Um, hopefully you guys have done stuff outside of just me teaching you. You've gone to the wiki. Uh, really, I don't know, I guess you could follow other people's tutorials, but I wouldn't really recommend it because I've actually seen some that weren't correct, if you know what I mean. And some really crappy ones that just say copy and paste this. And that's not a tutorial at all. So today, um, let's delete this. All right, today I'll teach you guys something most of you most likely already know, but it's how to randomly spawn something. I'll show you guys what I mean by that. All right. Oops, he's not brick part. There we go. All right, so. Someone asked, what if I want to make like a logging tycoon and you bring the logs in, you push it in and it makes um, random types of logs. How would I do that? So first I'm going to create a couple blocks, what they'd look like. Uh, obviously they wouldn't be any good, they've got to move around. Let's give it some color, make it actual wood, make everything smooth. And there you go. Um, yeah, let's just make a couple of these. Alright, um, no, that doesn't really look different. There you go. Alright, three types of wood. Alright, let's see. Let's name this one base, because that's just how I roll. <laughs> Alright, this one we'll call, uh, medium this one we'll call light and the last one we'll call dark all right there we go all right so let's move these into lighting just copy them and paste them there you go uh, you could make a model to make it look cleaner but I'm just doing this quickly Alright, while true do wait, um, let's make it wait five seconds. And uh, for those of you that just got here and have no idea how to script, uh, this pretty much means just keep doing something over and over and wait five seconds between those loops. A loop is doing something over and over. Uh, here at the five, you could edit to any number. That's time, so if you put 0.5, that'd be half a second. 5 is 5 seconds. Um, you could implement this differently, be like an untied script, you touch something. I think that's actually what we'll do today. Alright. Let's have this part. And. Alrighty then. Let's have it do something. How about every time we touch it? it'll spawn those bricks randomly I'll explain this in a second alright what this pretty much means is um, wait for something to get touched and when it does we'll tag it by the name hit um, this just means once it gets actually hit, you've got to activate it, meaning you've got to make the function actually do something. Until Up until here, it's just waiting. Here it's connecting a function to what's happening. For instance, here something's being touched. No homo. Um, let's see. <laughs> um, hmm. Brand equal math random one three. All right, what this means is it's going to make a random tag, and it's going to be a number between one and three, and we have three bricks. Now, there's a more efficient way, I guess you could say, to do this, but it's kind of more complex. So I'm not going to teach you guys. Even I don't like using it because usually I just do it a different way, actually. But this is the easiest way, in my opinion. So here goes. If rand is equal to 1, then, let's see, 
qualm equals game dot lighting dot light qualm. Uh, this means if this random number is equal to one, then um, we're gonna clone that light brick that we made earlier and put into lighting, and we're gonna do something with it. All right, and then clone is just a tag for it. Clone dot um, parent equals workspace. Clone dot position equals to workspace dot base dot position plus vector three dot new zero five zero. All right, what this means is its parent is going to be in workspace and its position is going to be this this basis position. Make sure you have base if you're going to use my exact script for this. And that's this giant green thing. I named a base right here. It's going to spawn five bricks right above the center of it. All right, so that should work now. All right, let's do the other two because we want a result every time we hit it. All right, here you can just change light to medium or whatever you have and change light to dark. Uh, let's create a debounce script. So debounce equals zero. You could use true and false, but I just prefer zero and one because it's just a lot simpler in my opinion. If D, all right, I'm gonna use tabs for this. You want to use tabs to make things look more organized, so if you have like a problem, you could just easily figure it out. Or you could just see what the functions look like and where they're split up. So, if dbounce is equal to zero, then dbounce equals to one. Alright, so now what's going to happen is it's going to check if dbounce is zero. If it is zero, then it's going to make it one so you can't hit it again within that certain time limit. Now let's do wait 0 0.5. It's going to wait half a second. Uh, and debounce equals to 1. And all right, this pretty much means the whole script's contained into this function, uh, this check. If it's not 0 and 0.5 seconds haven't passed, nothing's going to happen. So this should work now. All right, let's see. Yep. Oh, I gotta wait that 0.5 second. Oh, we got an error. All right. Let's see what it is. Oh, that time I didn't get an output. I don't know why. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe it could be this, but I seriously doubt it. Because honestly, I barely even do IRL scripts like in real life. I usually do GUIs or just like Pathfinders or whatever. Oopsies. Alright. Yeah, this won't work. Yeah. Uh, let's.